Hey guys, this is Dr. Chris Collier with Elite Chiropractic and Performance in Chesterfield, Missouri. What I want to go over in this video is what we would call a, a, a true hip flexor stretch. Uh, I see, you know, a lot of people try to stretch hip flexors because maybe they sit a lot during the day or for whatever reason they feel tightness. It's a topic for a different day that tightness might not be what you think. But nonetheless, let's go over how to properly stretch the hip flexors. Now, it should be stated that the hip flexor, that's just a term, and there's a lot of muscles that contribute to flexion of the hip, okay? The three big ones that we'll want to go after as far as stretching are the iliopsoas or the psoas major, which is a deeper muscle, uh, attaches to your lumbar spine, comes all the way down. That's usually the big heavy hitter. Your rectus femoris or your middle quad is kind of, uh, it works as a quad and that extends your knee and then it also flexes your hip. And then the TFL on the side, which contributes to hip flexion. So I like to do a half kneeling or a triplanar stretch for this type of uh, muscle group. And then you can vary the position of your leg to maximize the stretch. Now, when we do the half kneeling, I just have something down on the ground, like a pad like this, just for uh, comfort, okay? So it's not like I'm trying to balance on this Airx pad or anything like that. Now, one thing that I see a lot is this over cranking of the front of the hip, over extending of the lower back. Now you'll feel something here, but it's not what you think. It's usually the capsule pulling apart, we're just taking this joint to end range, which really isn't helpful. We need to first set the pelvis in a neutral or even an exaggerated tilt backwards. Once you do that, it totally changes the magnification of the stretch. So we don't want this and, or you know, the people that are in this position and then their foot's like on the wall or something behind them. Again, a little bit too much for my, my taste. So with that being said, with a, a regular triplanar stretch, the first thing we want to do is create a posterior tilt or tucking of the tilt backwards, okay? Imagining like you got a tail coming out and you're putting it between your legs. And we want to try to hold that position, okay? Another key thing is we always want to stay upright. So if we're going in to stretch the hip flexor and we're bent forward, remember that one hip flexor, the psoas, is on your lower back. So the more you flex, it's just going to mess with the pull of the muscle. So what I like to do is hold here, tuck back, hold here. For me, I already feel a stretch in the front of my quad, okay? So I'm already getting some of the job done. What I'll then do to maximize it is I shift forward a little bit. You don't really have to go that far. And then it starts to maybe migrate up a little bit higher to the front of the hip here. And then if you want to maximize like a uh, more of a, a spine oriented approach, I can bend away. I can rotate away. I can rotate towards. I'm just working it in different planes. All the while I'm trying to maintain this pelvic tilt here. So don't let it dip to that. Now, if you want to bias, let's say the quad or the rectus femoris, this is where I think a lot of people, this, when they're bringing their leg up on the, the, like at the wall or like a chair, they're actually stretching that quad a lot, but you don't need that much stretch. So what I'll do is I'll put something behind whatever I'm kneeling on, uh, maybe like a yoga block or a foam roller or something like that. And all I do is just put my foot on top of it. So to see through here, what that does is it gives a little bit more tension around the knee and then you can add the same components. And then if I want to start to bias the, the side or the TFL, this one's a little bit harder to do, but you can still do it nonetheless. I try to bring my knee closer to the other leg like this, and then I'll rotate my foot inwards. Same concepts here and here, shift forward, and then I'll kind of wiggle around, find that nice, comfortable stretch through the outer portion here. And then I hold. So whenever you're stretching any kind of muscle in a static fashion, usually hold for at least 30 seconds. You can do this in different repetitions throughout the day or throughout the week. But the point is, you know, know what you're trying to stretch ahead of time. So if it's a hip flexor, well, what kind of hip flexor? And do we need to do it to begin with? So if you have any questions, please reach out and we'll get back to you. If not, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.